Are we? Why are we recording? Because I want to. I wanted to order. I might need you to pull out the text I sent. I was so passionate about going to Sonic that I was bored in class and Googled the menu, and then I uh, made a list of everything that I wanted I don't to try. Think I've ever like done that. Yeah. I no. Know. No. Like with a Sonic menu. I oh thought that was no. Every other place. I literally was like, Sonic has a menu. Like an official menu. You said buffalo chicken bites, oh French God, yeah. toast sticks, yeah. mozzarella sticks, yeah. onion rings, diet limeade. Mm -hmm. That's your dream list, you said. <laughs> dream list. I'm really, I don't know. I don't know what like my snack is gonna be. I'm like, this is my dinner. It says we'll be with you soon. Oh. Yeah. It was activated. My patience is zero to none. My anxiety is 100 too. No, I was gonna say, <laughs> me being like, are they coming? You being like, we'll be here. Don't worry. <laughs> Hi, um, can I have a large Coke with cherry and vanilla? And then a soft pretzel twist? Anything else? Um, yes. Can I get a Diet Coke with the cherry in it? Can I also get the crispy tender dinner? Can I get the onion rings with that? In order of mozzarella sticks? Small the buffalo popcorn chicken. Uh, where do we pay? Do we give it? Or do we get my card? Hold on. I'm getting my card. Because it was so scary. What are you feeling for tip? What are you guys feeling? What are you guys feeling? For people that don't know, Sydney, what are you? A person? I, um, how would I describe myself? You're my freshman year roommate. Uh huh. Whenever anyone meets me, I uh, Nice to meet you. I'm Mia Lauren's freshman year roommate. <laughs> Whenever, and I mean anyone. Anyone, do you not? Anyone. I thought it would be fun for us to hit up Sonic and talk to you guys about our freshman year experience because we still hang out and it's two years down the road. Three years? We're juniors. Juniors? Well, we moved in. No! I gotta get them. I forgot about them and I've gotta get them. When they come out here, I'm adding it. I'll give them my card. The buffalo chicken bites are vital. That's why I was here. Didn't we get the, no, we got popcorn chicken buffalo. Oh, um, okay. So first off, I thought, I thought we would start and talk about our journey. How did we, how did we meet? You DM'd me. <laughs> right, yeah. You DM'd me because of what? Was it Room Sync or, or Instagram or Facebook? No, I didn't post on Facebook or Instagram. I think it was Room Sync, but I didn't think Room Sync worked, which is like a matching we service each for other roommates. Already, though. Yeah, so I just didn't think like the matching service on Room Sync worked. So I was like, I'll just DM her so she sees it. And you're obsessed with no, me. No, literally, that sounds really sad. What was your just what was your thought process? You see the DM for me. You check out my account and you say. Um to well. Yourself. I thought you were way more artsy than like a sorority girl because like your your bio was like it was like artsy and like mm -hmm. and like you but yeah. you also like my perception of Southern Rush because we're both out of state was like bows and I don't know spray tans right. and like all of like that. Like, I was giving like dirty street hey. rat. No, you shut up. <laughs> yes, we DM'd for a while. And then, and then you faced on me. Well, let's just be honest here. She dodges me every step she could take. I literally was talking to my mom and I was like, mom, I don't know what you want from me. Like I'm texting this girl like every other day trying to make her interested and it's not working. <laughs> you, literally, Sydney was playing hard to get to be my roommate. I get overwhelmed very easily. <laughs> so, you, you, so I just ignore It was as if I was asking her on a date. Like things were getting serious and she just like floated mm -hmm. away. Which like now, also like this with I was going to say, which now knowing Sydney now is literally what she does with men. So I literally was like, you cannot disappear when things are like moving along. So I texted her. Scary. Um, <laughs> and then we FaceTimed. I remember I was drinking a Celsius. And, and then I was like, oh, you're drinking Celsius. Yeah, and then we talked, and you were like, so roommates, so I was like, yes. I didn't waste any time. I was on FaceTime with this girl, and I literally was like, so, opinions? But this what was, you think of me? Was this after camp? No, it was before camp. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I went to camp. I also go to her then. The rest of us were trying to figure out, like, furniture and, like, what to bring, and they'd be like, what, what does Sydney think? And I was like, uh... Sorry. I actually haven't been able to speak to her. She actually has no thoughts. No, but I literally, I think I, like, started just being like, she's good with anything. Is he gonna be mean to me if I want to add something? Yeah, I wouldn't. I thought you were very sweet, and I also was like, but I was also like, she doesn't have that many pictures by herself. So I was like, what is she hiding? <laughs> like, you just, like you didn't post for fun, like you posted oh, no. for events, and yeah. I think that's amazing. But I literally was just like, she's giving me nothing to work with because it's like I. Yeah, you did like photo shoots with your friends. Yeah, and I also like was very like like I have a film account and like. You can see like my Sorry, fashion. I'm, I'm an econ major. What you want me to have a math? This account? is so ours. Oh my god, it is. Yay. 
Hello. Good, thank, thank you. you. If I want to like add something, do I just click the button? Yep. Okay, awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yay. Are y'all recording? Yeah. yeah. What's going on? She's I want to try it. Yeah, because I want to be like Sonic Taste Test. Great deal. Great yeah. Deal. Great <laughs> thank deal. you. Mmm. Delish. Oh my, this looks so good. <laughs> I don't even know what to start. She's literally looking at containers. <sighs> what do I, oh my god. I'm Here's my sauce that's all twist. Give a bite. Do your taste test. Already? Mm -hmm. Did you get that crisp? Sorry, I'm like really into this. Good? That's really good. Wow. Let's see, does it make a noise? Wow. Wow. That's insane. The crunch on that? Wow. Like best onion rings I've had in a while. Mm. Right? Why does it look too sweet? Yes, yeah, the, I think these sweet onions. This is what we do on a Wednesday afternoon. <laughs> no, but I think that we're such good examples because we aren't from the same state, didn't go to the same school, uh, both like UT for different reasons, completely different majors, and completely different sor sororities. And here we are. We're still friends. Mm -hmm. well, we beat all the odds. <laughs> We, we beat all the other. We're also like very opposite people. Oh yeah. Cause you're like loud, extroverted. <laughs> These are not negative things. Um, and I'm the most quiet, anxious. I like spending time by myself. Mm. But I also respect people like that. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. I hope you're enjoying this content. This is so good. I just think we just communicated a lot. Mm -hmm. Like I wasn't nervous to be like, that's your trauma. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, tell me what I need to know. No, it's, it's, it weirds me out in the sense where she's very like tennis skirts, clean room, like would have a lemon water in the morning energy to her. Mm -hmm. And I'm very like diet Coke, <laughs> jean shorts, my clothes are everywhere. Like it just couldn't have been more opposite. More opposite. Hello, Hi, do you guys have like the empanada looking things? I don't know what they're called. The buffalo bites? Yes. yes! I love like, you know when you like go to like get like order Chinese food and they like, have like the really small pieces of chicken, mm -hmm. the really big pieces of chicken, but really small pieces are like... I thought you are about to be the one supporter of the big pieces of chicken. Mm -mm. I was like, that's crazy. If you dated someone, would you hard launch them? No. <laughs> <laughs> would you ever launch them or you're saying you just wouldn't hard launch them? I... I'd soft launch. I don't know. It would take a while before I would like actually post them on my Instagram. I like front cover, like oh, post yeah. on my Instagram. No one would be shocked, but I would like have fun with it. Like I would make people think we're friends, and like they'd be like, "Oh, is that her best guy friend? Or are they like dating?" What are your thoughts on like if you break up with someone, do you take all of the Instagram photos of them down or not? Did the breakup was it bad? Okay, we'll do two routes: good breakup, bad breakup. <laughs> <laughs> if the breakup is bad. Mm -hmm. Um, whew. I'm personally for like wiping them clean off of Instagram. I think it depends if we're like being touchy in the picture and it's like very coupley, like then and the breakup was bad, then yeah, I'd delete them. Mm -hmm. Um, but if they're like, like if I went to a concert, I'm not gonna forget that memory because he's also in the picture. And if it was a good breakup, well, I guess it's the same thing. As long as we're not overly touchy in it and it's not like ruining the memory, then yeah, I'll delete it. Like I, that's okay. Like if it's a concert and mm -hmm. like he's not front cover. Like, I think I would take down all front cover. Mm-hmm. Well, my thought process is I wouldn't want to ruin any opportunities for him to get back out there and vice versa. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Like, I don't need anyone thinking I, we're I think still it's dating. a little weird. To what? Keep it up? Yeah. In some instances. Because, like, if I'm, like, talking to a guy and I look at his Instagram, it's just a, pic a bunch of pictures of him and his ex-girlfriend. Oh, my God! Yeah. I'm so intrigued. Wait, they're adorable. Shall we? Okay, Wait, show the camera sweet. first. <laughs> Those are really cute. Please take one. Why are they hot? Like, ah, like so hot. Hmm. <laughs> you know what this would slay for? Like a, a tailgate. I was about to say like a Super Bowl party. Mm hmm. Like Simple. <laughs> would you rather friends to lovers, enemies to lovers? Um, this is a good question that you would so ask. <laughs> I'm very big on the friends to lovers, mm -hmm. but within the friends to lovers trope, mm -hmm. um, I like the, I thought I liked the he's nice to no one but me. Um, but then I thought like, once you're finally dating them, 
no, no one's gonna no i meant when you're like, really dating him no one's gonna like exactly, that your boyfriend no one's gonna is gonna want to hang out with you guys so my answer is friends to lovers i need friends to lovers because i feel like i need to like fall in love with a personality i agree like on top like obviously there's like a looks component of it but like you i need to fall in love with a personality i feel like you like love at first sight like you don't know their personality yeah um, should we say bye oh my god already it's been so nice we're gonna sit here and chat off camera because we realize that everything we say we're like really do we keep that part in but you know we're crazy like that i mean i'd love for sydney to drive me more places than we talk so i hope what's everyone enjoyed location? this what's our next location uh we go to dairy queen okay putting that down sure bye everyone hope bye. you enjoyed wow.